uh, we know as a fact that a number divided by zero is undefined. And but we need to be able to explain to our students why a number divided by zero is undefined. And so we um, have two different explanations. And we can convert the division problem to a multiplication problem. And just like uh, any subtraction problem comes from an addition problem, a division problem also comes from a multiplication problem. So just because um, if we think of, uh, let's say, um, 2 times 6 equals 12, if I make one of the numbers unknown, say 1 times 6 equals 12, and then this can be solved by 12 divided by 6. So uh, again, um, a division problem literally comes from a multiplication problem. So we, when we have a division problem like this, we could write the question as what times 6 equals 12. So similarly, 12 divided by 0, this division question can be written as, so I'm going to change this to 0, what times 0 is 12. So we can write it as what times 0 is 12. So when we are asked to solve this division problem, 12 divided by 0 equals what is equivalent to what times 0 is equal to 12. Because of the commutative property, it can also be written as 0 times what number is 12. Either way, when you look at these two questions and trying to figure out an answer for this, and what number times 0 is 12, we don't have an answer for that because we know any kind of number, if we multiply by 0, we always end up with 0 because you have uh, 0 of something. Zero number of something, zero groups of something, or you have certain number of groups, but there's nothing in each group. So either way, it gives us a zero. So if, um, so that's why, again, by the definition of multiplication, um, whether the number of groups is zero or the number of units is zero, you always end up with nothing. So that's why it doesn't matter you how many groups you have. If every group has zero, the answer has to be zero. So this there's not really an answer for this question, something times 0 to get 12. So there's no answer. We cannot find an answer, uh, a number for these equations. If we cannot find an answer for this equation, um, that means 12 divided by 0 is undefined because there's no answer. So that's uh, how we use a multiplication problem to explain why 12 divided by 0 is undefined. Now, we can also use a word problem to explain this. Again. The division problem has two different interpretations. The first way to interpret it is to ask how many groups. So the question, so this number is the number of units, and then answer will be number of groups. The other way is this number is the number of units in one, and the question will be how many um, groups. And so here I gave you two versions, but you can only you only need to do one of the versions. Okay, so if we say we have 12, we, 12 gallons of juice to be distributed equally among zero bottles. So we have no bottle to distribute 12 gallons to, to pour the juice in. So if the question asks how much juice or how many gallons does each bottle get? And we cannot answer that question. Again, because there are no bottles. And that means we cannot really pour the juice into anything. So we cannot say, answer the question, how many gallons are in each bottle? So that's a word problem to explain why um, this has no answer. It's undefined. And this is sort of similar to um, one of the equations we're trying to solve. So um, we have zero containers, zero groups. And then we try to um, put something in there and then try to get 12. And that is impossible because we have no bottles. OK, so next um, question, how many groups? So we pour 12 gallons of juice um, to pour into bottles that can hold zero gallons. So just imagine that um, the bottles have maybe have holes, so they will not be able to hold anything. And uh, um, how many bottles will you need? And, uh, and technically, if every bottle has a hole, there's, uh, even if you have infinitely many, and you're not going to be able to hold 12 gallons because all of them are going to leak out. 
Okay, so again, there's no no answer for that. Um, uh, you can also use money to explain. Say you have uh, twelve dollars, and then uh, we're gonna give split divide the twelve dollars among zero students. So you say in the classroom. So you plan to uh, give twelve dollars out to your class, but when you walk in, you found out no students are in the classroom, and then you cannot ask the question, how much money does each student receive? Because really then there, there's nobody in the classroom. So you cannot really divide $12 among nobody. So that's why the answer is undefined.